Hey there, my dear friend. Today we are talking about how to read and understand weaving drafts. Drafts are the pattern that you use to inform the structure of your cloth. This is the backbone of your weaving, on top of which you'll layer color and texture to make the fabric that you want. I promise that it's not as scary as it sounds or looks. It's actually fairly intuitive to learn. All right, so let's get into it. Okay, this is a weaving draft. It's made up of four parts. You have the threading, which corresponds to the warp, the treadling, which corresponds to the weft, and the tie-up, which is how the threading and the treadling are related to each other. The result of these elements interacting together is this here. This is called the drawdown. Okay, you've got the basic overview. So now let's dive into each of these parts, starting with the threading. You can see here that our threading chart is four rows high. Each one of these rows represents a shaft on our loom. It's set up in such a way that you would be looking at it like this if you were sitting at the front of the loom. So this bottom row here would be your first shaft because it's closest to you. The second one will be your second shaft, third, fourth, and so on. Because this draft has four rows, that means we're working with a four shaft pattern. Each one of these black squares represents a thread in your warp. This threading chart has 30 filled squares. That means that we are looking at 30 different threads in our warp. Because you can see distinct repeating patterns here, you can extend this all the way out as far as you'd like to, as far as your warp extends, to make it as wide as you need it to be. And you can read this any direction you need to. I think I typically start here. So this is the first thread to me. It falls on shaft one. So when you're at your loom, you'll take your first thread, thread it through the heddle on the first shaft, and you'll move on to your second thread and put it through the heddle on the second shaft, three, four. And then when you get to thread number five, you will put it again on the first shaft then two, three, four, and repeat that all the way across the warp. This is called a straight draw, which means you just thread your threads in the order that they fall on the shafts. There are infinitely complicated weaving drafts, but the basic premise is always the same. Take for instance, this one for a 16 shaft loom. You can see here that the drawdown is quite complicated looking and the tie up and the treadling, but the threading looks pretty similar. You can see that it starts similarly on shaft one, first thread on shaft one, second on two, three, four. The only difference here is that you go all the way up till you get to shaft 16. Your 16th thread will fall on 16. And then you come back down. So your 17th thread will go on 15, 18th on 14, and so on all the way till you get back to your second shaft. Then you'll repeat back with shaft one. This is called a point threading. The treadling chart is very similar to the threading chart at the top, except that instead of referencing the threads and the warp, it's referring to the treadles underneath your loom. So to read this treadling chart, you'll start here at the bottom left, which seems counterintuitive until you imagine that you're sitting down here at the front of your loom and you're weaving your cloth up line by line, row by row. As you step on each treadle, the shafts of the loom will lift according to this tie up here. So you have your tie up here and you can see that it relates to the threading and treadling. This has four rows, which represents the shafts and four columns, which represents the treadles. Each of these filled squares tells you which treadle needs to be tied to which shaft. You can see that this first treadle here is tied to shafts two and three. So you'd go under your loom and you find your first treadle and you tie it to shaft two and then shaft three. Then you just do that for the rest of the treadle. So in our chart, we can see that treadle two is tied to three and four, three is tied to one and four, four is tied to one and two. Once you have your loom set up to the specifications of the draft, you're ready to weave. The last part of the draft is the drawdown. This just shows you what your fabric should look like on the side that's facing up. Now that you know the basics of reading a weaving draft, the world is going to open up to you in kind of a spectacular way. You'll be eating at a restaurant or sitting on a friend's couch and you'll notice the upholstery underneath you and think, can I make that? 
What warps go under what wefts here? Can you tell I know from experience? <laughs> anyway, class is dismissed. Thank you so much for hanging out today. I hope that this was helpful to you on your weaving journey. Or if you're just here to live vicariously through me, that's okay too. <laughs> I know way too much about gardening for a woman who can't keep a plant alive. These are preserved. <laughs> if this video got you excited to start working on your own weaving projects, or you just want to see what cool things handwoven cloth can be turned into, these videos are for you. See you soon!